This is the face of evil, a jealous loner who bludgeoned, then buried his innocent victims under his house in the hope they'd never be found. She is very much missed by the family. Benelin Burke was an adoring mum to two-year-old Jellica, both gone. Their loss incomprehensible to relatives in the Philippines. Brutal deaths that haunt a sister searching for answers. Her words translated by a friend. So Shella is saying that in the last two years, it's been very difficult coping. They were in, in shock and traumatised by the fact that they couldn't understand why it happened. Benelin moved to this area near Bristol in 2019. Years later, she met Andrew Ennis online. He promised her work. At the same time, he was making internet searches for sedatives and underfloor storage before driving to their home here on the 18th of February 2021. They were reported missing officially a few weeks later. As concern grew and suspicion mounted, detectives here in this community launched a major investigation, which would eventually lead them to a very grim discovery 450 miles away in Dundee. This journey to Scotland would eventually lead to his demise. His car tracked the whole way. His victims were charmed into sightseeing in Dundee, haunting images taken by the man who hours later described getting apocalyptically angry. Here he is buying a hammer, the same weapon he would use to inflict unimaginable horror, repeatedly striking Benelin over the head while also stabbing her. Then he suffocated and strangled Jellica, just two years old, before wrapping both their bodies in bags and burying them in concrete deep beneath his kitchen floor. He showed no remorse, walled in self-pity. The depravity that he's shown is unimaginable. Do you think you'll ever be able to forgive Andrew Ennis after this? She said she can forgive him, but as long as he's behind bars and will not be able to come out. Ennis is also a child rapist, abusing another girl for weeks in his living room. A dangerous murderer at the centre of one of the most harrowing cases this country has ever seen. Connor Gillis, Sky News.